Hello friends, so in this blog what I am covering is a very interesting feature in SQL Server 2008 and it's a very handy tool for all these SQL Server database administrators that is uh, policy based management in SQL Server. With the help of this feature, with the help of this policy based feature, SQL Server allows you to basically impose a restriction or also to check a particular condition if that is being followed over uh, over the server or not for example uh, let's begin by the word policy in english what does, does a does the word policy mean to you so policy is is nothing but a set of rules or a regulation based upon which we want a particular organization a country a family or a state to function so uh, for example if we are uh, if we if we have income tax uh, inspectors raiding a particular organization to check if they have paid uh, the income taxes uh, due uh, I mean the income taxes are paid uh, uh, per annum that is we are trying to check if uh, if the policy of paying income taxes regularly to the government has been imposed or have been conformed or followed or not secondly uh, that is when we are trying to check the th uh, and, and the second example would be uh, you cannot purchase a car in india you cannot uh, drive a car in india unless you pay the road taxes to the government which means that you uh, you have to pay the road taxes until unless you do that you're not able uh, able to drive the car in india so so you uh, there is a policy in place which binds you to pay taxes so sql server similarly allows you to enforce a policy and also bind a policy that means you cannot uh, do a certain task without conforming to the policy secondly if you if you already have certain uh, it allows the dbs to quickly check across and see if the policy that they want has been met um, over the server or not so so let's start to look what we have if we if we look at the server we see in the management folder we see policy management sql server 2008 has this uh, feature and, and and we under this uh, policy management we find three folders that is facets conditions and policies under the facets folder you would find there are various criteria or, or there are various options uh, on which you can create policies on which you can impose a condition and then create a policy so the first important uh, starting point is the criteria upon which you want to create a condition and then impose a policy so we uh, have the criteria as a table and then we want to impose a condition and a policy for example for any database I, I want the database I want to check I want to create a condition and check the auto shrink property of the database if that's enabled across the server or not so to do so uh, the facet would be the database the second thing is to create a condition so let me create a condition quickly and then on this condition we would select the database face it so the face it would be database and we give it a name auto shrink and then you would see the field upon which you want to create the condition so we say auto shrink option and we say the value to true so this is your condition upon which we will build a new policy so we say and then we have to, we say the policy name and then we select the condition on which we want the policy to evaluate upon so so again i uh, i'm repeating the same thing uh, there is a facet which is the criteria then we create a condition upon this facets upon uh, and then we create a policy upon the condition uh, and then evaluate the policy to see if the condition is is being met by the facet or not and now the evaluation mode is is on demand that means we would be running as on, on demand uh, and, and checking if if the if the policy is met or not so we create this policy now when we evaluate this policy as it is going to check all the databases on the server and see and give us the details okay which all databases have 
the auto shrink option enabled currently none of the, them have have so because by default it is it, it is false also we can export this result to an XML file if need be so we can create uh, an XML file and then export the results of this evaluation that we have done so let's quickly just try to change the database one of the database properties and set the auto shrink option to true and then reevaluate it and see if it is giving us the positive evaluation result for for this database or not so what we do is we will try to reevaluate this policy once again uh, I think my system is, is, is yet to respond it's, it's it's on the on the slower side uh, so let's hope this this works out yeah so so we have finally my system is awakened so let's try to reevaluate this policy evaluate it once again so we can see that the policy has given us uh, the right results for the database that we had rectified so it is it's it's able to now this now the second thing that we do is the second example that we create is let's try to create one more condition and and let's use the facet that is stable so what we do here is the second example is stable and then we check upon the indexes so we say cluster index check so what I would be doing is I would be checking upon the index has clustered index right so we I'll be checking upon this condition so let's create a new policy let's use the table and instead of all the databases let's just try to evaluate a single database so what I do here is create one more condition for work DB and in the field in the database face its option in the naming in the name we simply add work DB that's all that we do so a new condition so this is going to evaluate on every table in the work DB database and you can as well schedule this so let's learn scheduling as well so we create a new schedule we say Sunday and uh, we try to run it every two minutes and then enable this and leave it so this is going to evaluate every two minutes and check all the tables which have clustered indexes on them the next example is we leave this we create a new condition for our stored procedures and in this example I would show how we can restrict so far we have not restricted SP naming so far we have been evaluating or we have been checking a condition uh, for a policy now I will try to impose a condition so uh, what I want is any stored procedure being created on the work database should start with USB underscore user defined stored procedure so creating a new policy and I call it naming and what I do here is I use and instead of every database let's use the work database and we 
say on change prevent and then now what we do is let's try to create a new store procedure on our work database and see how the policy restricts us from doing so so when we try to create this stored procedure it simply would not allow us to do so and it will point to the policy and it will say that it is the result of this policy that we are unable to create the stored procedure and it will also give you the condition which needs to match for you to be able to create the stored procedure so we say underscore and, and then we simply try to recreate the stored procedure so if it's already existing let's drop this stored procedure and then create this stored procedure again so it's done so this is how you can restrict with the help of a policy this the other policy that we had created was stored was for clustered index let's see as you as you go and check the view history tab for the sql job similarly for policies also you can go and, and check the view history so you can see the policy had run on uh, run two times and the result is as under so it, it points out to the tables which did not meet the policy so it gives you the table names so it, it gives you the table name which did not have a clustered index upon them so so it this is how you can actually schedule your policies also so in this blog we have learned scheduling a policy we have learned strict restricting a particular uh, condition uh, based upon a policy and we have also learned to evaluate quickly uh, on demand as and when it's required you can create a policy and, and, and schedule and run uh, we can schedule it we can on demand run it and we can as well restrict a particular condition so i think it's really useful tool for for dbas thank you friends